Hi, I'm Laura and welcome back to the Tarot Genie where you receive intuitive insights from the tarot to your burning questions about business, career, creativity, entrepreneurship, personal development, and more. Do you think you're old, too old to start something that you really have a passion about? Today we're going to ask the tarot how to go about pursuing something that you really love to do no matter what your age. And in fact, today I'm going to do things a little differently and I may start doing this in the future. But we are going to ask the questions from the perspective of someone who's been successful. And the person I have in mind today is Julia Child. I was reading this book, I have this tarot book called 365 Tarot Spreads. And in it, the author, Sasha Graham, and I recommend this book, has a Julia Child's Never Too Late spread. The reason she picked Julia Child from what I gather here is that she said, Julia Child, who became a famous cook, you know, one of the first cooks who was on TV, she was on television when I was a child, growing up, one of the first chefs. And of course, now you've got hundreds of chefs on every cable channel imaginable. But Julia Ch Child stood out because one, she started cooking later in life, and two, she became such a success and so early at the time. You know, she was a one of the, what do you say, the someone who launched that whole genre of cooking shows. And in fact, it says here that Julia Child was born on August 15th, 1942, and she did not enter cooking school until the age of 37. Now, of course, 37 still seems really young to me. However, I'd like to just suggest to you today in the three cards that we choose, to get some insights on a particular passion that you've had, something that maybe you felt that you're too old to start, it's too late. I remember when I was in my late 20s and I was considering going to business school, but I thought, gee, you know, is this too late to start? Because by the time I finish this degree, I'm going to be like 33 or 34, something like that. No, maybe it's earlier than that. But anyway, then I thought, I concluded, well, you're gonna be 33 or 34 anyway, so why not do it? The same type of theory holds. But let's tap into the energy today of Julia Child, see if we can get some insights from her spirit as to the right approach, or to the, not the right approach, let's say, but the most empowering approach you can take to pursue a passion, no matter what your age, because she did the same. Back then it was considered old to be 37 or the late in the game to start a new career, but she did and she, be, she went on to become a tremendous success I think she died in her early 90s. So she was a success, had a long, long career. Today we're going to ask the tarot from the perspective of mentally, what would Julia Child advise us? Physically, you know, how'd she go about? You know, what did she do? Is there anything she did to ensure her success or that launched her so successfully into her cooking career? with her television show, cookbooks, etc. And a few years ago, there was that wonderful movie with Meryl, I think it was Meryl Streep, wasn't it? With Julia and Julia, the one young woman who was decided to try every recipe that Julia Child had ever created. Let's see what the tarot says today and how to pursue your passion a la Julia Child, her particular advice, tapping into her spirit. Now, not someone who claims to channel or anything. I'm just tapping into, let's see, universal knowledge, just tapping into seeing if we can gather or glean some ideas from the spirit, from the teachings of Julia Child. Mentally, physically, and spiritually, what approach do we need to take? First card, imagining Julia Child was sitting here with us and advising us mentally, what do we need to how do we need to approach pursuing this passion no matter what our age? Ah, the, the high priestess reversed. Love the high priestess. Of course, when she is upright, she is major arcana number two. And of course, the major arcana cards carry extra power and oomph, extra meaning because they represent archetypal energies. And since we were asking mentally and assuming that we had Julia Child's spirit with us here, what would she advise us? What I think this is saying is she is advising us to really tune in to our own intuition. I did read a biography I think years ago about Julia Child, but I can't remember the details at the moment. I don't recall 
how she, you know, at what point she decided and became thrilled about pursuing cooking. But what I think her spirit may be advising us is to really deeply, because it's reversed, tune into your intuition. Your intuition is going to be your guide to pursuing this particular passion. It has to, it, it is, goes beyond the logical mind which, where someone might say, oh, I'm too old, I'm too this and that to be, it's too late in the game for me to pursue this. No, Julia Child is her spirit, it seems to me, if we could speak with her now, would be advising us, no, just turn within, tune within to your own inner wisdom. If that spark to do this particular endeavor is within you, then the wisdom to achieve it and to pursue it are there also. So do what you need to, and your mindset should be that you are going to be guided by your heart, guided by your intuition. The High Priestess has many symbols associated with the intuition. We've got the crescent moon. Her gown reflects the water behind her. It's just that sense of flow. The idea is flowing. And because of the way we ask this question and it's reversed, I feel it's saying you really need to especially tune into your intuition. You need that to be front and center of your mindset mindset, not just using your logical mind, but truly tuning into that heart and that flow within you of your inner wisdom. Secondly, if we were here speaking with Julia Child and she were advising us physically, or what do we need to do in terms of going about in the real world to pursue this passion? Hmm. Wow. Another major arcana card, the emperor reversed. Now this is interesting. Now the Emperor reversed is the four of the major arcana. Typically, it's a he rep represents a very strong, wise figure. We've got this tremendous structure, tremendous, and he does have this gown or cloak rather of this red cloak, which for me always represents passion and purpose. Yet it's interesting. He's in a suit of armor, so there suggests some rigidity. You know, he's pretty much set in his way. He's very strong about how he approaches things and his particular philosophy. So what this would seem to me to represent if Julia Child, again, were advising us, assuming that we had her spirit here with us, is that physically, how you go about pursuing this passion would be in maybe an untraditional way. Now just think about it. Julia Child, if you ever watched her programs, and you can still find them now on YouTube, she's quite amusing. She wasn't the most deft or agile person. When she was on her cooking show, sometimes, you know, she kind of tossed the chicken into the pot and go, whoo, like that. It, she really had a different angle. She was almost slightly buffoonish. She wasn't the serious person, French chef, who was, oh, you must do this and you must do that. She was really, just herself and just having a good time. And if she kind of splashed things and made a mess, she really didn't care and it made it all the more fun to watch. I think that what the Amber Reverse is advising us is to, yes, you know, have that strength uh, and pers in terms of your passion, but maybe let go, release any traditional ideas of how you go about doing this particular passion and purpose. You don't have to be stuck and rigid in the traditional ways. Think differently. Think originally. Think of a cool way where you could have your own sense of panache or your own unique way of branding and your particular passion so that it will capture people's attention because Julia Child indeed captured people's attention. Uh, finally, spiritually, from a spiritual approach, how should you go about pursuing this passion, even if you think you're too old, but you're not? Ah, spiritually, the Wheel of Fortune, number 10. Wow, this shows that this reading is especially powerful. We have major arcana cards across the board, three major arcana cards. And what I think this is suggesting is that you need to go with the flow. You have to realize that spiritually, as you approach this venture, whatever this passion project is that you have felt, 
uh, it's too late to get started with it, is to realize there are going to be cycles, there are going to be fluctuations, there are going, things are going to vacillate, things are going to move up and down, but just stay with it, stay present, and realize this is a natural part of life and that this passion of yours is going to be no different. It's going to fit. It's going to be subject to those fluctuations, the, the various things of life that go up and down, the cycles of life. And what else can I say for glean from this particular Wheel of Fortune? Spiritually, I think what, I, what this card and this image rather always reminds me of, it's curious that each of these figures, we've got the angel, this griffin, I think it is, the bull and the lion with angel wings, they all have, they all have books suggesting to me communication, knowledge, etc. So at some level, I feel that it's saying that you, your communications and your information, whatever you can get out there is going to be subject to the ups and downs of life, but just go with it. Just realize it's all a natural part of the cycle of life. In conclusion, Julia Child never felt, I don't think she felt she was too old when she started at 37. Of course, that still seems young to me since I'm in my 60s. However, what we can glean from this reading is that to pursue your passion, turn deeply within, listen to your intuition for strategies for your mind. Make that your mindset that you are going to truly pay attention to your intuition. Do things differently, cast away the traditional authoritative ways that you may think your particular field, just as Julia Child did in being a little bit buffoonish on her television show. She didn't take herself seriously. She wasn't that serious chef. And finally, spiritually realize that there's gonna, there is going to be a natural ebb and flow of your project, of your passion, and don't be concerned, just stick with it. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. As always, I will recommend a book. I didn't have the book with me, but it is a book about, and I can't recall the title at the moment, unfortunately, but it's a Unity publication. And it's all about not allowing yourself to get into that mindset of, oh, I'm too old to do this or too old to do that. It has example upon example of people who started in their 70s, 80s, etc., pursuing a passion and doing it for quite a long time. And I will also include a selection of music to amplify the key points of today's tarot reading. So until next time, illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot.